So, listen to how crazy this is. The original title of today's video was about how I took a brand new business from zero to 300k in 13 days flat. But since creating the slides for this particular video, we've actually closed one more client that just came in as I was just about to hit record on this video, not even an hour ago. So I've had to go back in and change the entire video itself, redo my mathematics, re-screenshot everything and bring the video back to you. So the new title of today's video is how I took a brand new business from completely zero to 350K a year in 14 days flat. Now we're gonna be jumping straight into my computer to prove all of this to you. But like I said, I've just had to change the title of the video because I've just had a new client come inbound to me via Instagram DMs. They didn't want a single call. They've not spoken to me with, with me in person. They've now had a face-to-face -face interaction with me and they wired me over 3.5K to jump inside of the actual business. Again, let's jump straight into this, guys. I've got a couple of records that we've actually just broken real quick. First of all, I've just done my fastest zero to 10K per month with a brand new business. I've also just done the fastest zero to 20K per month with any business I've ever started. And I've also just made 21.5K in just over three days, it's like three days and a couple of hours. So I'm putting it in there, it's just over three days, you know, basically 21.5K in four days, call it that, even that stole a record for me. Let me break down this video just real quick, guys. And this is gonna be applicable for your agencies, coaching businesses, especially if you run an agency, by the way, this is definitely gonna be applicable to you. Definitely gonna be applicable if you run an agency, a coaching business, a consulting business, or if you sell some sort of info product. So this is a brand new business that I documented, right? From starting from zero, and I've taken it already to a 350K per year run rate in 14 days flat. And again, I'll show you proof just here in a second down here. I've got all the proof for you guys. You don't skip or anything like that. And the rules with this business was I was not allowed to use any of my old money that, you know, saved up over the years or anything like that. I'm not allowed to use any of my old money, not allowed to do any cold outreach. So no cold calls, no cold emails, no nothing. And I'm only, I was only allowed to use Instagram and YouTube. So no cold outreach, no reaching out to any sort of like businesses or anybody by using cold outreach. None of that was allowed basically. And the reason why I did this was to one, prove to you that it's not luck. Two, so I just want to do this and show you guys, look, this is not luck. Number two, I wanted to show you and prove to you that building a hybrid personal brand is the most important thing you can do. And that cold outreach sucks, like just completely cold outreach sucks. I don't even think you need it at all. I think it actually will keep you broke. And the third thing I wanted to prove to you is to show you guys that I actually know what I'm talking about and I'm not just talking out of my ass when I say these things. I'm showing you how to get high ticket clients using inbound strategies. So the actual business itself is an inbound client acquisition company called Six Figure Name. It's a meta offer. I call this what you call a meta offer. A meta offer is kind of like what Alex Amosi says in his book. He basically gave you guys an irresistible offer on a book that teaches you how to create irresistible offers. So it, it practices what it preaches, AKA I'm creating a business that basically gets only inbound clients that also shows people a system for getting inbound clients for themselves, AKA we practice what we preach. So we're not another guru that's out here selling courses, teaching you guys how to do slow, cold outreach to grow a business that doesn't even work. To me, that is extremely unethical. So what I mean by that is a lot of you guys are subscribing to all these big gurus channels and whatnot, and you're buying their courses and they're getting you as inbound customers and inbound clients to their programs and mentorship programs and courses and stuff like that. And then they're selling you and teaching you how to do the direct opposite of what they just use in order to sell you as a new customer slash client. So I think that's absolutely unethical. So what I decided to do is create an inbound client acquisition system that teaches agency owners, coaches, consultant, and course creators how to basically generate inbound customers and clients for their business. And funnily enough, this is just branding, genuinely. I'm, all I'm teaching people is how to brand themselves online, turn their name into a six-figure name, which is why my program is called Six Figure Name. I just wanna teach you guys how to turn your name itself into an inbound client acquisition system so you don't need to chase clients anymore. And what we do is we basically input an inbound client acquisition system into your business so you can attract high ticket clients instead of chasing them. Now let's jump into some proof just real quick. Um, first of all, if you guys haven't already seen this, I started on the channel and I created a video on my YouTube channel, should I say? A video just basically just entitled, I quit all my businesses to start over again from zero. It's my first seven figure company. That's the goal with this particular company. And again, we're an inbound client acquisition company. So that was on the 25th of August. I completely just shut down. It was actually before this, to be honest with you. I shut down all other businesses, like my coaching business before this. I shut down agency transmutation, which was my online program. So none of it is coming from selling courses. By the way, if you're upset about that, then you know, goodbye to you. You guys think I make all my money from, from courses? No, I do not. Long story short, 
as you can see we've got beta students here so this was from the first of august to the 30th of august i didn't take on any clients didn't take on any clients or anything like that completely shut everything down and what i did was i basically just got people that was already in my existing network because that's probably one of the first places you want to start like whenever somebody starts an agency we always recommend just kind of like look around your local like network is there anybody in your network do you have any sort of like family business owners in your family like any business owners in your family go go to them first you could probably get some couple of like quick wins if not and that's always been a good strategy to use by the way that's just common sense to be honest with you like you go and ask your family friends friends of family that sort of stuff family of friends you get the point i'm trying to make and these were beta students these allowed me to test my offer but as you can see in august from the 1st of august to the 30th of august we didn't make much money like quite literally and this is this was scary for me by the way like this was my worst month i've ever had in like two years since cracking my first this was the first month i basically where i where i didn't make more than at least like 10 15k or whatever it was i think it's my first actual month where i didn't make like 15 20k so this was the worst month i've ever had in a very 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 long time this was almost going back to like 2019 montel it almost felt like i was broke it was painful it was not comfortable it put me into kind of almost a little bit of a, a fight or flight mode to be honest with you guys and i just want to be transparent with you guys and by the way this is the old screenshot the new screenshot just real quick so you can see we actually just there we go that's the old screenshot on the left so this is old we can actually delete this and then this is today as you can see this is literally what just happened today we had a new client come in so as you can see it's twenty one thousand pounds in cash collected there's one client in there by the way that paid on a split pay 1333 us dollars so we're still waiting for the $2,666 from them. So minus $2,666. Add on $2,666 onto this British pound. Thingy magic, you guys can do the conversion. But let me show you the actual proof of how I've been able to do this just real quick. Show you some proof. So as you can see, I'm going to walk you through the story. But as you can see, I'm going to show you this kind of like the customer timeline or like client timeline. And again, shout out to all my uh, all my clients as well. Because I know that they actually are inbound clients and they watch my content and stuff like that. So shout out to you guys. I don't want you guys just thinking that they're just numbers. These are real people with real businesses that we're going to get real results for that I absolutely just adore because they're just amazing. Genuinely, like, all of them just amazing people. Even the person I just closed, quote unquote, closed over DM. We've been speaking on DMs. But you can tell that this person's hungry. You can tell all of my like clients are hungry and they're ready to work. So as you can see, on the 16th, that was a $3,000 payment. This was when I was testing out my pricing structure. I didn't know whether to charge. 4,000, 5,000, 3,000, didn't know what was going on. So you can kind of see my steps building up, by the way. So stick, stay tuned for this because it's going to be very helpful for you guys. Um, So 16th of September, first client comes in. That's my first client. That was 10 days after actually launching the new offer, by the way. I launched a new offer, the brand new offer, after tweaking it, after failing as well. I actually did go through a fail stage, which I'll explain in a second. Went through a fail stage and 10 days later, closed my first client for 3,000 US dollars. Then on the 20th, I closed another client at 3.5K, as you can see right there my mouse is. On the 27th, so seven days later, I closed two clients. So as you can see, one client here was 3.5K paid in full. And then this is the client that I just said that was a split pay client. So they're actually paying 4K. So it's 1.3K. So it's one. 1,333 US dollars per month times three months. So it's basically 3,999 US dollars they're actually going to pay in total. So basically 4,000 US dollars. Here's another client on the 28th. So this right here was actually 11,000 US dollars in just over a day. It was like 20, 27 hours, $11,000 I made, 10K a day basically. Like an 11K, 11K day, like, you know, it's actually only a couple hours after, as you can see. 24 hours here, you know, I don't know, a couple hours, you know, 27th to the 28th, pretty much a day. And I already had like an 11K day basically right there. Then on the 29th, as you can see, we closed another client right here. The payment actually failed. As you can see, it says payments failed here. And what I had to do is I had to split the payment into two pieces. So it was 3,000 on one and then $500 on one. So that's one client. It's just the payment split in two. And then the very same day, I closed another client. So as you can see, this is the same old one right here. And you can check the time stamps and all that crazy stuff. If you want to pause it and read it, long story short. But as you can see, this is the $3,000 I, I received, which is this right here. And then the 500 dollars that i received which is this right here and then on top of that you can see six minutes ago another 3.5k came in so this was actually a massive day in just cash collected day that was seven grand cash collected day in like what's that a couple hours maybe like maybe like five six hours or whatever it is you guys can do the maths on that and then the very next day which is today the time of recording this as you can see top right corner it's literally saturday and this was only one hour ago as i was making these slides so it would have cut off right here like the actual video would have cut off right here but we just added on another screenshot because a new client just came in literally today at like 5 50 something p.m you can see it right here and that's a three thousand five hundred dollar pay in full so yo guys this is absolutely insane right now um so i'm actually creating still the actual whiteboard 
for the new video that you're watching right now. And as I'm just about to hit record, a new client actually comes through. The, the actual invoice, I, I have, I'm, I, can't, I think I mentioned it on the slides that I'm waiting for a new invoice to come in, but the invoice just came in. This is a client that's not even got on a call with me, came from the actual ad, I believe it's from, yeah, I think it's actually yeah, genuinely from, from one of my ads, came from an ad like maybe a, a couple of weeks ago, maybe a week or two ago, whatever it is. They've not even got on a call with me, never even spoke to me directly one-to-one, -one, and they've wired me 3.5K just over Instagram just now as I'm, about, as I'm about to record this video on how I've scaled a business from zero to 300K um, a year run rate in literally like, what is it, like 13 days flat. So yeah, I, in the video I said, I, I, I originally here it, sh it says 25K, but now it's 29. Meaning I took this business from pretty much zero all the way to 28,000 US dollars in 14 days flat. So from the 16th to the 30th of September. And we also had some beta students come into the program as well. By the way, these are just beta students that have all, were already in one of my other programs and I was just testing out the offer to see if it genuinely worked. But what that allowed me to do basically is uh, build up some ad spend as well, which I'll break down the strategy. So these, these were all beta students in August. Again, August, we didn't do any money. We shut everything down. It was scary, by the way. It wasn't even it wasn't even funny. So let me walk you walk you through the actual journey itself. So first of all, it actually starts back in 2021, believe it or not. And I came up with the idea, right? The cold outreach kind of sucks. The people that are really getting rich in the game are people that are creating content. So instead of consuming content, you want to be the one creating content and being on YouTube videos and creating YouTube videos and creating content. It doesn't necessarily need to be YouTube, by the way. It could be Twitter, building a brand on Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook. Build some sort of content that is revolved around your services and revolve that revolves around your services and revolves around your niche's pain problems. Do not create a faceless account. Faceless accounts do not work. People buy people. People buy from people. No joke. As in like, don't create one of those Instagram accounts, right? That has like an agency logo on it. Like that's the profile picture. And then the content's like free tips. And it's like those Canva graphics that you guys create that like free tips to scale your email marketing for your e-commerce business. Don't do that, those never work. Create an actual personal brand is what I would say to that. So I came up with the idea to help people build personal brands, kind of like in 2021. I was actually talking about this, but back in 2018, by the way, that personal branding is probably the most important thing you can do. I'm not even joking, you can go back on my channel and actually fact check that, by the way. I then completed like my coaching, my existing coaching clients, kind of like contracts and whatnot with my actual coaching students, coaching clients, whatever you want to call them, where I was helping agency owners scale the agency. And I finished all of those pretty much in July because I already knew that I wanted to get into this. So I kind of stopped taking on people in July slash August. I also had a holiday in August um, to Portugal where I went to like Rolling Loud, but that also allowed me to sit back and think kind of like just outside the box, which was, I think was crucial to my success I'm having here. So having that trip allowed me to kind of sit back. And when I came back from that trip, I stopped drinking. I came up with the business idea. I stopped taking on new students. I stopped creating mess in my business. I went back to the drawing board, tore down everything and just started all over again basically, long story short. So like I said, I quit and took down all of our businesses in August to take on no more clients whatsoever to keep this also a fair test. And I also documented this on like a like, like a personal journal. I'll probably try find it and throw it up on the, um, it's on my hard drive actually over there in the background. I then launched the beta offer on the 22nd of August, right? 2023, but something fell off and it just wasn't getting the traction I thought it would get. I then allowed beta students to come into the program so I could test the offer and generate them actual results and see if that my actual new offer was going to work. So I had people inside the H-Rometation and I created like a video saying, hey, look, I'm coming up with something new. Again, if you've got a customer list or if you've got some sort of network, always leverage that network first to see if you can actually get some, I guess, like quick wins. And it also allows you to test certain things as well. So if you've got like a family, friends, business, and you're running an agency, try your agency services on that particular business. That's common sense. You should, you should probably go looking into that. So hopefully I just helped somebody if they were thinking if they should do that or not. Uh, but I did that. I tested my uh, new offer for very cheap on people that were willing to pay 297 to get into the actual beta group. And I, I capped this off at like 20 people, I think it was. It was a win, 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 win situation. They won because they actually got the program for completely, like extremely cheap. And they were able to learn the new strategies for complete, completely cheap. And that's going to obviously go on to make them some ridiculous ROI. So that's already a win. The second thing it allowed me to do is test my offer to see if it was something that was actually worth Working. So I, I win in terms of helping them and seeing that I've got an actual working offer. The third thing it allowed me to do is build up initial cash flow. So that initial cash flow was the 3,878 pounds that I made 
from the actual beta students, which like I said, in the rules of this particular like little challenge that I set myself was I'm not allowed to use my own money that I've already got in my bank account. I have to start with $0. So the first thing I did was I went to my existing customer list, came out with a new offer to test, tested it, got results, seen that it actually worked. Also, that allowed me to generate cash flow coming in to actual money. So then what I was able to do with this is to is use this as ad spend. I used the 3.8K as ad spend to test out some more offers. Here's one key takeaway about this as well, by, by the way, guys. When you've actually got money in just any money, even if it's just $300, I would probably like, like, let's say it's $300 per month that you've got. You can take that $300 genuinely and run a test for $30 a day for four days straight, right? And you will you will literally be able to test like one or two offers. And what I mean by that is you can literally launch an Instagram Reel ad, right? Test a niche or pick a niche, for example, might be real estate agents. You test some sort of new offer and you put that in front of people and you, and you see if people buy instead of trying to guess what offer you should come up with. This is a much better way to test to see if you've got a good offer or not. So my initial ads didn't convert well. Well, I thought they didn't. And it's actually funny because one of them actually did convert, but it took like a month or something like that, which is completely fine, by the way. So my initial ads, so I launched an ad, Instagram real ad, and I thought my offer didn't convert that well because the, the messaging was too broad. So I turned the ad off and, I, and it did cost me 1,257 USD in total because I did like quite a few tests, to be honest with you. It wasn't just one ad, excuse me. It was actually quite a few ads that were kind of broad and I couldn't get the messaging down right. This is the thing. I couldn't get the messaging down right. So I did actually waste 1,257 pounds or so I thought I did anyway. But then I, I realized that one of the actual, and this is actually funny, one of the, the uh, clients I closed yesterday or that came on board yesterday told me that they actually came from my older ad. Like my older ad actually got them and it was actually an online coach. So I was speaking to like online coaches kind of, kind of there. Um, so I went back to the drawing board and I started all again. I you know stripped away all my ads, stripped away everything once again. So offer wasn't working, off, another offer wasn't working, another ad wasn't working, this ad wasn't working. Ended up spending 1,257 pounds in total, which is quite decent. But again, I'm using this money here from the beta students to supplement this is what I'm trying to say. So it's not even my own money. So I went back to the drawing board to start all again, stripped away everything. And then I started diving deep into some real like solid research into my niche and asking just questions to existing audience that I've got inside of like my other programs uh, just around the market itself. And basically I was able to find my offer by doing that. And again, this is another key takeaway. Stop creating offers that you think is going to work unless you've got some sort of ad. Like, like the only time you should be thinking and guessing offers is if you're actually going to put that offer to market using an ad. Because then you can literally just run the ad for three days and see if the ad works or not. You know what I'm, you know what I'm trying to say? Hopefully you can you can understand. Like if you think Facebook ads for e-commerce businesses works or you've got some sort of TikTok ad thing and you're wondering, should I pick this niche or should I do that? Literally just go and create an ad, spend $100 on it, maybe even less than that, like $80 on it. And you'll literally be able to see if it, if it works. $30 a day for four days straight, $120. It's going to cost you $120, but you could be onto a, like a multiple six-figure business idea. So it's definitely worth it. And then what happened was I ended up finding a winning ad and I launched that on the 6th of September. So in total, I've now spent 1092 US dollars on this one winning ad. And it's brought back 28000 US dollars to be exact. I also created six YouTube videos once I had my, my offer. And one of those YouTube videos was a video video sales letter that's actually on my channel itself which allowed me to generate by the way when I spent this money on ads 1000 let's call it 1.1k on the uh, on the actual ad itself one ad by the way it's generated me 900 and free Instagram followers over the period of 30 days, by the way, over this particular one, it's actually 24 days. Yeah, 24 days, because we started on the 6th, launched the ad on the 7th, actually. I actually launched the ad on the 7th, excuse me. So I created a new offer on the 6th, launched the ad on the 7th. So launched ad on the 7th, not the 6th. I came up with the offer on the 6th, launched the ad on the 7th, the very next day. So I went to bed thinking, you know what? I can't wait to get up in the morning, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go shoot this ad. Shot the ad, launched it, it got approved pretty much almost instantaneously started generating inbound leads straight away. These are Instagram followers that are highly qualified, by the way. Not all of them are, but I would say a good 90%. I would even go further to even, even say like 95%. And it's generated me 903 Instagram followers as a byproduct. So if you actually do the maths, my cost per follower, so how much it costs me right now to get a follower is literally $1 and 20 cents that means for every one dollar and 20 cents i'm spending on my ad i'm generating one new follower and i'm targeting like agency owners coaches consultants service providers online course creators because i can help them build a personal brand everything that all those people 
that I just mentioned, that pool of people, they can all benefit from having a hybrid personal brand and building an inbound client acquisition system because agency owners can get inbound clients, coaches can get inbound clients. You get the point. I generated over 46 calls. It was actually 46 calls in, in total. Some of them weren't qualified. So obviously those were kind of like canceled and whatnot. Um, and the cost per qualified call though, if you're wondering like how much it actually costing me to generate an actual qualified call, it was 36 US dollars and 40 cents, excuse me. So my cost per call, that basically means every time I spend 30, around 36, you know, roughly 36 US dollars on my ad, it generates me one qualified call. And sometimes it could take me up to maybe like six calls to close one, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit different, a little bit lower than that. I'll probably throw some, some more stats on this next time I do this, but here are some key stats, by the way, guys. So we've gone through this. Let's break down some key stats for, for you guys. Number one is I launched a winning ad on the seventh. I came up with an offer on the sixth, launched the ad on the seventh. I've spent in total, if you think about the failed test, you know, this is converted into USD for you guys. It was like 1.2 K British pounds, almost 1.3 K British pounds. But if you actually convert this into US dollars in total on all my ads, the tech that like the failed ads and the winning ad. So just all my, my entire ad budget just so far, I spent $2,625 on the ads and it's brought back 28,000. As you can see here, this was the old one. I've still not finished creating, you know, finishing the slides. Cause again, we just brought on a brand new client, which is crazy. And I'm actually still waiting on one more invoice actually. There you go. Now you can see that I'm literally doing this live. That's how you know we just closed a frigging new client. I also, in that time, created six new YouTube videos as well, which obviously helped me bring in some, some new clients. So it was split between the ad spend and the actual YouTube videos. I did no cold outreach. I did no cold emails. I did no cold calls. And I generated 903 Instagram followers, $1.00. And 20 cents per follower 46 calls in total but i didn't take all of them not all of them were qualified so my my cost per qualified call actually cost me 36 us dollars and by the way these are some of the ads that you can see i i tested they failed one two three four five six seven seven failed ads as you can see seven failed. sometimes it takes you seven tries or eight tries but does that mean you should quit hell no guys i like, look at this some some of them don't even wasn't even costing me much you can tell whether an ad's working or not with like 30 pounds there you go. This this ad you could I could tell straight away that like yo this ad's probably this ad's not performing. You can see after like even if you just test an ad for like twenty dollars a day, at like four days, you can tell after four days whether it's worth your time or not. This is the best thing about it because now you don't need to guess and think about like oh my days is, is this ad actually working? Blah 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 blah. Or is this offer working? Or is this ad? Uh, or is this like niche good? You don't need to worry about that anymore. You can literally just go and launch an ad and go and test all of this for you and actually get real data and real metrics and let the market itself dictate and tell you whether you're actually onto something. There's no point trying to guess and ask some guru online. You might as well just go and rip an ad right now. Go create an ad right now. Create a script. Pick a niche. Create a script around that niche and a new offer around that niche. Put it out there and see if it actually starts getting... It's, it's almost like fishing. You throw the lure out, that's your ad, and you see if anybody bites on it. If people biting on it, then you know you're probably onto something. So then you just scale it up and continue doing what you're doing. And now you know what to build your offer around. It's genius, in fact, literally genius. So let's break down some key, some key takeaways for this, guys. Number one key takeaway is honestly, I can just genuinely say this now. Cold outreach sucks and I'll never go back to it. I just never, ever will, ever, ever, ever. As long as I've got oxygen in my lungs and there's some form of currency around and advertising around, I'll never do cold outreach again. Like, and what I mean by that is, even if I go back to being like dead, 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 dead broke, which, you know, you know, Jinx Touch Wood and all that crazy stuff, I would probably just go and get a loan. I'm not even joking. I'd probably just go and get a loan, max out a credit card and just start running ads. I am not even joking. Not this sort of ads you guys are probably used to, like you running an ad to a landing page to collect an email to then get them to opt in for like a free training or a free ebook and then you get them on a call. I wouldn't do that. I'd create what you call a hybrid personal brand, social kind of like funnel. I'd create like a funnel ad on Instagram or whatever social media is out at that particular time. You can do this on TikTok, by the way. Inbound is much better than outbound. We all know that. Cold outreach sucks. Inbound is much better. One too many marketing scales much better. One too many marketing is basically like creating content pieces to an audience that gets seen by multiple people whilst putting one piece of effort in. This video is a perfect example. I'm sitting here one time, recording this video one time, putting it out on my YouTube channel, and it's being seen by maybe 100 people, 200, 300, 1,000 people, 2,000 people. Who knows, you know, how, how, how many people are gonna watch this. But again, the point is, is that more than one person is gonna watch this. I don't think I've ever released a YouTube video once and it's only got one view, like ever. Like that's literally, I don't even think anybody's pretty really much done that. I mean, if you're just starting out, then obviously that would probably be the case. So number four of my key takeaways is you need a middle of funnel strategy. You need a strategy where you're number one, something's compound. An audience is growing long-term and your content is compounding over time. Here's what I mean by that. 
when I create a YouTube video, it goes on my channel and you can actually watch this like maybe in a year's time, two years time. So I put the effort in once. Now it gets seen to multiple people. Like that's, that's one to many, but then it also compounds over time. As in like it gets more views as it's, as it lives on the internet. Instagram page, for example, you can grow that over time and it will compound over time. The more you actually start running ads and the longer you run your ads for, the more people are going to follow you, the more engagement you're going to get, the more conversation you're going to spark. So the more calls you're going to get on, the more calls you get on, the more cl clients you're going to close. Quite literally, and this works again for agencies, coaches, info products, businesses, all that sort of stuff. Key takeaway number five is if you can um, sit and just buy more meetings, you will forever, right, run a predictable business. But if you do the opposite, you're not going to run a predictable business. Here's what I mean by that. If you, and this should say, if you can't. So if you don't have a strategy where you know you can just put in like $30 in, like $36 for me, and let's call it 30, let's call it $40. So let's say it's $40 cost per book call, right? If you don't have a system where you know that you can just go and spend money to generate a new call, you're never going to scale a predictable business. I, for example, just got a 51,000 pounds tax bill from 2021 to 2022, I believe it was. Uh, yeah, 2021 to 2022, I need to pay, which is a 51,000 British pounds, which is 64,000 US dollars I need to just give to the government just like that. And guess what? I'm not even worried about it. It sounds weird, but I just genuinely, I didn't even buy an eye. Honestly, I just don't really care about it. The reason for that is because I know to make that back, the 51,000 back, I just need to spend X amount of money to generate X amount of calls. And my close rate is notoriously this much. So therefore I just need to close this many clients and therefore I'll make the money back. In fact, just this week alone, we've had a 21,000, 21 point K 21.5K in three days. Like literally, we've already made that back. So I'm not worried about it, like quite literally, because I have a predictable system. I know that every $40 I spend roughly, I'm getting on a qualified call. Even if it takes me six, call, six calls to close, I have a predictable way of getting clients. Like there's no need to rely on algorithms. There's no need to rely on cold outreach and hoping and praying that somebody books in a call. There's no wishy-washy sending loom videos. None of none of that crazy stuff. It gets better over time as well. It gets more profitable over time. This is probably the worst profitability it will be because the ads are brand new. Because again, this strategy works long-term as well. As in like the people that I've generated of followers today might not be ready to buy something from me until maybe a month down the line, two months down the line, three months down the line. I mean, think about it. If you've ever enrolled into like Eman Gadget's program, you probably have subscribed to his channel for months on end and then decided at one point, you know, enough's enough. I've watched this guy enough. I resonate with him. I know what he's talking about. I like this guy. Then he went and bought his program. All the same with me. Well, this is the same strategy. It's just that it's boosted with ads. So here are my next steps for the actual business. Here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the money that I've generated, you know, the, the, the 28K that I basically was well, actually 29.1K. I'm going to take the 29.1K I've, I've now made from this business, this brand new business. And all I'm going to simply do is just throw it all into a different bank account and just reinvest it back into ads. I'm literally just going to open a separate bank account, throw the 29 grand into the, just the bank itself and just reinvest just that money back into ads itself, which basically means I've been able to generate my ad spend, right? So the last 14 days alone, which is 28K in the last 14 days, like I said, come from zero to 28K with this particular business in the last 14 days alone, I've made 28K. If you divide that by 12, it comes out to 2,333 US dollars, which basically means I've made 2.3K dollars in ad spend. So now I've just covered my ad spend for the next year. So I, that I now have the ability to spend 2.3K per month every single month for the next 12 months that I've only, it only took me 14 days to generate. So in the last 14 days alone, I've made me 2.3K USD in dollars per month that I can now just deploy for advertising, which by the way, is more than enough. I've only spent 1,000, 1.1K on the winning ad, which is crazy. So the next goal is to just do that. To, um, my next goal is to scale to 50K per month for this business. I do also want to hire a setter. I've already got some people trained for this already in the process of hiring this, so an actual appointment setter. So that basically means I can have completely fully automated appointments on my actual calendar itself. You know, that means basically people see my ad, click on my ad, follow me. My appointment setter reaches out to them, has a conversation with them, books in a call with them on my calendar. I turn up, I close them, they get in the program and they're able to get results without me. They're able to input their own inbound client acquisition system into their agency, their coaching business, the consulting business. That basically means I now have a fully hands-off business absolutely insane. All I have to do is just sit down, take sales calls, and eventually, obviously, I'll outsource the, the actual sales calls themselves. I also want to hone in on getting the best client results in the game, because again, all these gurus are just teaching you how to go and get what you call growth partners or growth experts or whatever they're freaking called, um, which are basically just glorified virtual assistants that go and do cold outreach for you. Cold outreach honestly just sucks. The next goal for me is obviously, and again, I just want to be the best in the game when it comes to like Montel is the guy you go to, to actually genuinely build a long-term sustainable business. Cause like doing cold outreach is just not sustainable. If you're, let me give you, I'll give you an example. If one of your growth experts, these growth experts, like one of your virtual assistants that's doing cold outreach for you, 
just becomes ill one day, what happens? What happens? You you miss out on outreach. If your ad account gets banned, you can go and get another ad account. You can go and get it lifted. You can actually go and create a whole different account, quite literally. It's very difficult to get what you call absolute, like blacklisted. Blacklisted is like your name itself. Like you as an advertiser are just completely banned on all platforms across the thing. I only think that's ever only happened to people like Donald Trump, Andrew Tate, just those like people that are like, like almost like you have to literally be a country dictator in order to get blacklisted from advertising, like literally. I'm not saying that Andrew Tate's a dictator, by the way, I love Andrew Tate, Trump as well. I'm not gonna get into political, but I honestly, I love Trump, but these days we think, I think we need him, even though he's lesser of the two evils, I, I would say today. I'm a Trump supporter, to be fair, let me, let me not lie. The next goal is to finally buy my first Rolex, and I do wanna engrave it, by the way. I wanna engrave it and just have some sort of engraving on there saying like, you create your own luck. Like, I just don't believe in luck. I don't believe in cold outreach. I don't believe in broken systems. I just don't believe in like superstitious stuff. I believe that like, if you go out there, go get it. Cause I started this business and I did get into that panic stage where I was like, yo, should I, was this the right idea to just close all my businesses down? Cause I was literally making some killer money. Like, why did I just throw that all away? This is risky stuff. And then I, it did get to me in maybe a couple of days where I just sat there thinking like, dude, I've only made like three grand this month. And like, I'm not used, I was, I'm just not used to that. I'm used to making like 30, 40, 50, 60, 90 grand in a month. I've had like 90 grand months. So going from 90 grand month, where I've hit like 90 grand in a month, that's my record, to like hitting like three grand, it felt awful. But I also remember the saying that like, sometimes you have to go backwards to go forwards. It's actually so true. And it's allowed me to basically reset my foundations and reset and start a proper business that's actually gonna have like ridiculous amounts of impact on people and change people's lives for the better because becoming a value creator is the number one thing you can do for any type of business. Building a hyper-personal brand is what I call it. And I also wanna figure out if I wanna move to Dubai because that tax bill was absolutely just insane. Like, it's actually funny because a friend actually made me rethink this. Like even though I wasn't really bothered about it, he basically, I was, this was last night, by the way, I was sat down with him and he was basically like, yo Montel, you're literally going to give away 51,000 pounds to the government. You do know that to be in the top 10% of people in earnings in the UK, you need to make 59,200 pounds a year to be in the top 10% of people. Like the top 10% of people in the UK, they make over, in fact, you have to make 59,200 uh, pounds exactly. And you're pretty much just giving that away to an invisible entity. So he kind of made me think like, yo, that's probably stupid. I probably should just go move to the, move to Dubai and just like go and get like a very nice property. That's I, end, I think it works out to be like 4.2K per month, British pounds. So that's like five point something K per month I'm paying in tax, just straight taxes. It'd probably be even more than that now that I've got a predictable system to just blow myself up. 100K is just around the corner for me. So I'm probably gonna have to figure out whether I need to genuinely move to Dubai, which is kind of scary. First of all, I hate flying. Second of all, I don't wanna leave my parents and all that crazy stuff and all my family, friends and whatnot. So um, yeah, I've got something to think about there. Like probably does make sense financially, but will I mentally be able to do it? Cause I'm a very family orientated person. I like be being able to just go and take my little sister to the cinema, go and chill out with my brothers like literally i'm gonna like after this video i'm gonna go meet up with my brothers on the weekend chill with them got like a family event going on but um yeah and if you're one of my clients watching this as well stay tuned for the actual modules inside of six figure name because honestly we're, we're only just getting started and i'm already seeing you guys getting results already like just take what i'm doing just replicate it quite quite literally it doesn't matter if you're a coach agency owner service provider doesn't doesn't even matter and with that being said guys as well if you do want help my direct help inside of the six figure name program uh, you can book a call in below with me directly it is me that takes my calls right now you can actually sit down with me and actually we can have a good discussion to see if it's just genuinely going to be beneficial to your business chances are it probably will be because like creating you want to be a content creator instead of a content consumer that's what i would say to that inbound leads always work better than outbound to be honest with you so with that being said guys yeah that's how i built a a business that i took from zero started from i literally killed my own business so i could just prove a point i literally took a business that was making multiple six figures and just destroyed it live in front of your guys' faces documented me doing it on youtube i quit all my business to start over again from from zero i removed agency transmutation removed all of my streams of income just so i could prove a point just so i could show you that this is not luck just so i could show you that inbound is way better than outbound just so i could show you that you don't need to do cold outreach just so i could show you that these gurus don't have a fucking clue what they're talking about and just so i could show you that i do have a clue what i'm talking about 21.5k in three days from one ad and six youtube videos get out of here man i'm done anyway guys click the link below booking a call you guys are gonna enjoy and love what's inside the actual program itself and how we install this inbound system into your agency trust me we can get started straight away that being said, doesn't matter if you're an expert, a beginner, doesn't even matter. Even if you're starting from the beginning, doesn't even matter. Booking a call, it'll be one of the best things you can do. That being said, love you guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you could take some insight from this. Anyway, guys, peace. Love you. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe.